Hi everybody. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Wednesday's video. Um, yes, you guys see the title. Um, I want to talk about something that was literally just hitting me. It's something I literally had to start thinking about like right now because it's something I, had, I was just dealing with. And um, yeah, it's been a day. I still have other things that I want to do today. But I found myself kind of procrastinating a little bit like in the last couple of hours. I I went to take um, my godmom's van to get some, get, to get some, to get an oil change. And then I came back and had lunch, and then I uh, did some cleaning and some other stuff that I was supposed to be doing. And I have a whole to-do list actually. Oh, actually, I do want to talk about that too. I have my um, my little to-do list. So I'm looking for my notebook. I think I left it in the kitchen. But yeah, everybody's out of the house, and um, I figured um, I would come and do this the video before I have to move on to the next thing. But yes, I um, have my to-do list here. See that? To-do list for the day. I create one of these every day and it's just for my um, visual knowledge so I could see what needs to be done that day because I'm, I'm pretty visual. And um, that's the thing. I just like having something in front of me that says that, hey, this is what you have to do today. And normally what I do, as I, I should have showed you that, I left it in the kitchen, um, but what I normally do after I do something is find my the red Sharpie that's in uh, the drawer in the kitchen and just check it off. And the red, to me, is associated with passion. And I'm passionate about getting the things done that I need to do. So, um, yeah, that was um, my thing. So I keep it in the kitchen during the day because I feel like if I keep it in my room, my room is too comfortable so if I keep it in the kitchen during the day I can I need to get up and actually um, write um, what I did down already or check off what I already did so that's my thing but yeah I wanted to talk about not wasting your time stop wasting time this is essential when it comes down to your life goals and reaching them this is essential when it comes down to really doing are getting to do what you really want to do. Now I will say, now since I was a little tired, um, cause I've been up since what, six o'clock this morning, six thirty, something like that, um, seven o'clock, something like that. It was it's been really early. I um, <laughs> we don't get up early around here now, but um, I was a little tired and I found myself kind of on my phone watching YouTube for like an. I realized like an hour had already gone by, and I said at four o'clock. I was going to walk down to the local library here and start typing off my typing out typing off. Okay, that's that's English. Typing out my rough draft for my comic book idea. Yes, I'm working on a comic book idea. Um, more to be announced about that uh, soon, but not currently. Um, I said I was going to work, go, I mean, go to the library and start typing out my rough draft for the story and having something like this kind of. I mean, I have a little bit of my story written down already, but I wanted to go to the library and type it out, so it would be something um, typed out. I mean, my handwriting is pretty good, but I still like to have something typed out. But I, I felt myself in that moment of uh, procrastination. I was like, you know what? That means I have to walk, and I want to get my walking because I haven't walked yet today. So if I figured if I walk to the library, I'll um, get my walk and my exercise. And they opened today at 4, so you know, like I, I saw the time going by, it was like 4 o'clock, and 4 o'clock had already passed, and looked at my um, my time on my phone again, and it was already 4.20, and I said, you know what I said to myself just now before I turned on this video, Jeremiah, you got things to do, um, stop wasting time, you need to do your video as well as go to the library, so like, I, I, told my, <clears throat> I said to myself, I am not going to let myself um, just waste time um, right now. I'm just gonna, even though my body feels like shutting down, not because it's like still tired. I mean, I'm tired right now, but it's not. It was like I just felt like that procrastination spirit coming on me, whatever you want to really call it, or maybe just the feeling of procrastination. I just said, you know what? No, it's not gonna take over me. I still have energy in my body. I'm still gonna go and do the last few things I need to take care of today. So I said to myself, stop wasting time and. Um, it worked because I said I need my do my I need to do my video 
and I need to go to the library. There's a lot of things that I still need to do. I want to make sure they got done before the end of the day because I am perceiving with all the stuff I want to do, the rest of the week is going to be busy too. So I um, probably might go and volunteer tomorrow at our local fam, fam tree. Yeah, that's, that's English. <laughs> our local pantry. And I'm not sure what's happening after that. And I might be working on Friday. So there's a lot of stuff to do. And that's the thing. I just don't want to waste time anymore. I feel like it's easy for us to waste time, especially with all the technology that we have. I mean, you can sit and waste hours just watching YouTube. I mean, it's really that serious. I mean, some people don't think it is, but it's really that serious. We can waste hours on end just watching YouTube on our phones because with the, and not even just YouTube, but just with the um, huge amounts of technology and capabilities of our phones and just our devices, our computers, laptops, whatever it might be, and desktops. We have so much capacity to waste time now because of all the stuff that's at our fingertips, all the information that's at our fingertips. So it's like, it's very easy to waste time. But here's the, here's the main thing. It's like, um, I feel like um, when your goals and things that you want to do are so much higher than yourself, um, we start to feel overwhelmed. We start to feel like, um, like, what's the point of, like, I mean, it's not what's the point, you know, let me, let me phrase that. Um, as I don't ever feel like what's the point, we just start feeling overwhelmed. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. We start feeling overwhelmed and sometimes just relaxing and watching your favorite YouTube videos are, um, a nice escape from all those thoughts and uh, my encouragement to you right now is to have a have a time where yes you decompress from your day and you watch your tv shows or you watch your stuff on your on your phone or your, your tablet or whatever you like to watch whether it's um hulu netflix youtube whatever it might be like have a, a, a set time during the day where you do that but during the day be about life I mean, some of you are making money being on the internet, so your job is to be on the phone, or your job might be to be, like, on Twitter, or really putting yourself out there all the time. But my um, encouragement to you, if those aren't your jobs, or your, those aren't your goals, um, just uh, have a time of day. I mean, what now, we have incorporated a new rule in our household, um, and that is... Um, no cell phone, oh, not no cell phone, no video games, any of that kind of stuff before 6 o'clock. And I feel like it's a good rule because what it does is like it incorporates you to get a lot of different things done during the day. Um, and then you have your time only after, only around 6 o'clock is when the whole day is done. Maybe your schedule is a little bit different. And you can just sit and um, decompress. And we all have our different ways of decompressing, but wasting time is the greatest are one of the greatest killers to your success. And um, it's very easy to waste time. That's the thing. It's very easy to be like, uh, I'm just feeling overwhelmed today. I mean, like pace yourself with the stuff that you do. I mean, with me, I, I have a visual list of things that I, I would like to get done that day. Um, I was just introduced to the concept of bullet journaling, which I if I can get all the information and put it into a videoable a videoable, yeah, I think I like that word. I actually want to use it. A videoable um, presentation. I will talk about it, and I think it's a really awesome concept, and I think you guys will really like it. But I'm not doing it just yet because I still have to figure out the concept. I've been watching YouTube videos. A lot of people have been talking about it, but I still have a visual um, to-do list that I write out every morning, as I showed you. And that list um, is like a visual thing for me because I'm a very visual learner and I'm a visual doer. So when I have that list, I feel really accomplished once I checked everything off of that list. And then normally after everything is checked off off of that list, all the reasonable stuff, that's when I start like feeling like winding down or decompressing from the day and stuff like that. Because really, I'm on a roll to really see myself really succeed. And I feel like these things that I map out for myself every day are um, for my own personal development. Um, I, yeah, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I do for our godmom, for, you know, I, I live here, so the stuff that I do for her as her personal assistant, and there's also stuff that I do for myself as well as working, so those are three different things, like completely, I mean, those are all things that I feel like are for me, 
and they are parts of my life that are a part yeah they're a part of my life but they're three different things like my job the stuff that I do here at the house for for uh, Mimi as her personal assistant as well as um, the stuff that I do for my own personal development and um, so I have to make sure that all those things are categorized and um, as I write them down in my notebook uh, for my to-do list for the day I um, I've really been telling myself within the last couple of weeks that you just cannot waste time. Like, try to get as much as you can done and then sit down. You know, it may, you know, take maybe a break. I normally take my lunch breaks now. I've been making myself eat every day. <laughs> Sometimes I swear I won't eat. Um, I used to be like that. I used to, like, um, like forget to eat. And I feel like a lot of that had to do with um, anxiousness and nervousness sometimes. And I just wouldn't eat. So now I am making sure I have a balanced breakfast or and a um a lunch and um and some dinner every day like three meals a day and i feel really good um as a result of doing that now and i think that my day is a lot more organized and i love it so um it's a lot of things that i'm thinking about and um i just wanted to encourage you um for how long have i been on here it's been already 11 minutes wow but i just wanted to encourage you guys just to not waste time stop wasting time if you are I know that, um, just like I said and mentioned earlier, that wasting time seems to be very easy to do when we feel overwhelmed with all the stuff that we want to do in our lives. Or I'm telling you, like the work that you put in now will definitely pay off in the future. And um, one of the things that I'm definitely going to be talking about soon um, is smart work versus hard work. I'm going to be talking about that, and um, that should be a, a fun topic to talk about. But um, yeah, that'll be something that we can go over. But yes, I only wanted to come on here for a few minutes because I had to move on and get to the library before it gets too late. Um, but yes, I just wanted to encourage you guys. Stop wasting time. Be about your life. And um, yeah, just uh, like just do whatever it takes to just go after what you want to go after in life. And just... Um, just know that wasting time could be one of the greatest killers to your personal success. And, um, yes, so that's all I wanted to talk about. If this video encouraged you at all, I know it was kind of, I'm still trying to figure out the format in which I want to do these videos and make sure all of my thoughts are coherent and um, cogent and you guys can understand them. Please leave me some feedback if anyone watches this video afterwards. I didn't get any comments for this particular video, but... I know people might see it later on because these videos get posted to my your timeline and they stay there, so that's good. But um, feel free to share if it encouraged you. Give me some feedback on things you believe I can do better or whatever um, that might look like. Yeah, just um, I will be looking forward to your encouragement. Thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of time with me every three days. So I will see you guys on Friday for another video. And um, we're going to have a good time. All right? Love you guys and have a great day. Bye.